What's up, guys? It's your boy, I say. Um, I'm starting this podcast off with a little something I just found out. I'm probably a little late, but I'm just kind of going through some of these articles, and I found, I discovered that uh, three very important and influential uh, Christian ministers, music ministers, have been caught uh, in some kind of infidelity with their marriages. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's no secret, so I might as well say who they are. <clears throat> For those of you who follow uh, Christian hip hop, uh, the Truth and Ambassador, both from Cross Movement Records, and then uh, I don't know if this one's been confirmed, but it's uh, um, it's been said that Ty Tribbett, who is a uh, urban gospel minister <clears throat> he was caught cheating as well or something to that effect um, and so right now I'm here on uh, the truth website the truth.net and he's stated an apology regarding his infidelity I don't know how long this video this is going to last uh, but I'll try to piece it together best I can I just wanted to give my two cents about the whole thing, um, being that's how I'm a Christian hip hop artist myself, and um, you know I I got one of the Truths albums. I have Cross Movement, uh, one of their albums. I've looked up to these guys for years, and uh, Cross Movement was the first uh, Christian hip hop group that I've ever listened to. And mind you, Ambassador was a member of Cross Movement itself. Um, this has no bearing to cross movement in general. This is just to the ambassador, to the ambassador who committed this uh, sin. Um, you know, when I when I see stuff like this, I think right away, oh man, you know, the secular world's going to have a field day in our honor. You know, because everyone outside of Christianity is just trying to find another reason, another excuse not to, you know, uh, believe that Christ is the way and truth and life. Now it's funny because we rely so much on the church and people, the people of God, that anytime we see a, a believer fall, you know, we think that the whole thing is a crop. And when I say we, I'm talking about, you know, people outside of Christianity. Um, and one other thing, I don't mean to offend. If it, if this offends anybody, I apologize. This is really unrehearsed, unscripted. So uh, I don't mean to offend anybody. Um, my my feelings on all of this is is that you know the proper precautions were taken care of you know the labels that had these artists dropped them from their labels uh you know and they're also trying to help restore their lives at the same time which is commendable uh the fact that truth uh made a public apology was also commendable you know um instead of trying to hide what you did it shows that the person is not corrupt, but the person just fell in life. You know, this person was a human. You know, I'm not condoning that uh, that infidelity is, you know, something that can just be shrugged off the shoulder. You know, like it's no big deal. Uh, it is because it damages lives. It damages people's faith in one another. However, you know. I believe in redemption just like my father has redeemed me several hundred times. I believe in forgiveness for the truth ambassador and Ty Tribbett. Um, so far from what I see, truth is the one that I've seen, uh, you know, trying to, I mean, apologizing and, and repenting. I haven't seen anything from anyone else, but I'm sure, I'm sure ambassador and Ty Tribbett is all, I've also done, you know, gone through the measures to repent and apologize. One thing I, I want to bring out is that in a time like this, we're seeing uh, leaders, strong, powerful men of God who are very influential in, in this music genre falling for the same sin of all things. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really a shame. Uh, what we need to do is rise up, support them, and really just just charge, you know, against the enemy because this is the same demon messing with with 
all three of these guys. Ambassador was like <laughs> one of the leading heads of Cross Movement Records. So it, it pains me to see that he's fallen. And Truth, I mean, he's just been, I mean, he's a, a revolutionary artist, you know. Um, but I know that people on the outside, they're going to be like, man, you know, this is, this is highly expected of a Christian, you know. I mean, you're, you're all pretty impolished, uh, you're Bible thumping until you make a sin, because you're just like everyone else. Now, let me just say this to everyone watching. The truth is, we as believers are like everyone else. Yeah, that's right. We are prone to sin. We are prone to fall. We are prone to cheat, lie, steal, and all of that. We are just like everyone else. We are not aliens. We are not, you know, just a completely different race of people. We are like everyone else in the world. But there's a difference between us, people who have accepted Jesus Christ in their, Lord, in their lives, as opposed to other people. That difference is, is that they, we believers... We have all the same baggage that everyone else has, but we found our way. We confess that we are filthy sinners. We confess that we are flawed individuals. We confess that we are prone to make mistakes. You know, and um, like it or not, man, you know, we fall. But just like that song says that we fall down, we get up. A saint is just a sinner. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning us, you know, like trying to sit, belittle what they've done. Because they are leaders. And you know, it, leaders are held in much higher regard because people are watching them. Of course. You know, there, there have to be consequences, which, I mean, everything's been playing off correctly, in my opinion. But all I'm trying to say is that for the non believers, for you guys watching, Man, don't just look at this as like, you know what, this is just another reason to make me lose faith in Christianity. You're not putting your faith in other men. You're not putting your faith in Christian men and women. You're putting your faith in Jesus Christ, the maker of all men, of sinners and believers alike. You hear what I'm saying? Your, your, your relationship is one-on-one. -on -one. This is all about fellowship. This is all about, you know, building yourself as a believer. And if you find someone that is not stable enough to help you build, you just move on to someone else. Move on to another church. But the but God up there is the same God of all of that. Alright? So, you know, non-believers, man, just... I'm sorry if you're still not buying into this relationship that we're trying to offer you. Um, but it's real. Just because you see people fail in their marriages in the Christian world, don't act like that's not happening in your world out there, you know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it happens. I'm not saying it's right, but we are flawed in general as a whole. And we ain't trying to profess like we're better than you guys. We're just like you, man. We're just saying that, you know what? We found the way to get us from here to heaven. You know what I'm saying? We found the way. We found the only way that can help us cope with our sins. And that's Jesus Christ. So my apologies goes out to the truth. Ambassador Cross Movement Records, Anti-Tribute. My apologies goes out to you guys, uh, fans, fans of their music and the whole holy hip-hop genre. My condolences to you guys. We took another hit. But you know what? Those are the times when we need to just lift them up in prayer, stand together in unity, and just just give it all to God. God's the only way out of this, man. So, till next time, much love. Peace.